Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I'm going to do an unboxing of the ROG Rapture GT B98. So this is Asus's uh, new uh, Wi-Fi 7 uh, router. So it was actually first um, presented to the public in uh, CES last year. And as you know it's uh, every uh, January. So I do expect uh, at Asus perhaps to bring out even a newer model than this. Um, but this is their latest one. Um, and it's Wi-Fi 7. So this is the new standard that we've, in previous videos, we've talked about, um, about the benefits and everything else. So this is going to be a quick unboxing of this, uh, of the Rapture GTB 98. So this is, again, a um, ROG, so that's the Republic of Gamers. So it's going to have a different interface and more gaming orientation. Um, and also you can see the packaging. And also this is quad band, so that means it's got uh, four different bands. Um, also including the new uh, 6 gigahertz uh, band uh, with 320 megahertz um, bandwidth and everything else. Well, we go into more details in the next few videos. This is going to be just a quick unboxing so you can have a look to see what's inside. So you can see, as usual, the packaging is nice. And you can see they've got an outer box kind of uh, shell uh, on the actual uh, router as well. So it's always good to see. And it does weigh quite a bit. It's not a <laughs> definitely not a light one. Again, it's going to be the same kind of size as we expected from the um, the actual other routers that we've seen. So from the uh, AX-E16000 uh, and even the AX-11000 where they're no way small uh, routers as well. So you can see here if you slowly slide it off, you've got the pattern here. And you can see if you move it across, you can see the, the different uh, kind of, uh, it comes through on the video. It actually shows you kind of, like it's like a hologram kind of thing. So we'll just move on now to taking this sleeve bit off and then uh, we'll go inside. So quickly having a look on the uh, back of the actual uh, sleeve for the uh, router. So you can see here about again, it has uh, eight uh, fixed antennas and it just goes through around the uh, actual uh, Wi-Fi 7. So uh, saying it's a, a big massive leap uh, with speeds up to 24.4 gigabits per second and using new 300 and 20 megahertz channels as we said before so this is going to unlock more bandwidth and is going to give you much more higher speeds and it's excellent for gaming but also you'll see here the actual uh spec of the actual router and everything else is uh it's uh, actually amazing for a router what they put into it these days so you can see here it's got a quad core cpu and it's a uh, so basically it's four cores at 2.6 gigahertz so that's the fastest we've seen so far it's got dual 10 uh, gigabit Ethernet ports. So uh, you might have seen some confusing uh, information on other websites where they're saying this had three 10 gigabit Ethernet ports. So it looks like originally they were perhaps thinking of releasing it with three, but I realized the chipset and perhaps couldn't handle the heat or it's basically just a bandwidth was too much. So they've gone down to the same as the uh, AXE 16000 where they've got dual 10 gigabit ethernet. But for most households, that's more than enough, to be honest. Then you've got the game acceleration. As we said, this is the uh, ROG or Republic of Gamers edition. So it's more orientation to specifically gaming. You, again, you've got this uh, AI mesh. So in other videos you've seen, uh, have a look at my playlist if, if you're not too sure what AI mesh is. Basically you can jo join different uh, Asus routers together. So you can have all different models together as long as they support AI mesh and you can have an uh, like mesh uh, network Wi-Fi system in your home. Um, and then also you get here again is one of the most important things is we've seen a trend of companies now doing a subscription based. Uh, so just trying to get more money out after you bought the device, then they're trying to get money out of you every month for a subscription of like even the basic security things. But again, Aces are staying with it and it's actually free. So. It's no replacement for antivirus, like I said in other videos, but it's a good deterrent and everything else. And I've used it quite a lot as well. So I normally switch that on, but it is very good to have and it's good to see it's free. So we've got the specifications here, the interface. So as we go through again, we have one 10 gigabit WAN LAN port. We have one 2.5 gigabit WAN LAN port, one 10 gigabit LAN port, three 2.5 gigabit LAN port. So now, Basically, they're all changing to 2.5 gigabit. So that's normally really good to see uh, they're upgrading that. So this will be many, many, many years in the future, future proof. Uh, you've got one gigabit LAN port 
and then you've got one USB 3.0 and one USB 2.0 port. Again, as we said, we've got eight antennas, but they're non-detachable. We have memory, we have 256 megabytes of flash and two GB of DDR4 RAM. We've got the operating frequency, so these are the bands. So we've got still got the 2.4 as most um, Internet of Things or do you like your doorbells and cameras and a lot of devices still use a 2.4. We have the 5 gigahertz and the 6. It just gives you the data rates here as well. And then we've got the encryption, so it has the latest WPA3. We've got the power here as well, so it does support uh, AC input between 100, 100 volts and 240, so it's international. And the actual output is 19 volts, or the maximum of 3.42 amps, so as you can see here. So again, you've got the dimensions here, so it's 13.8 by 13.8 by 8.7 inches and it weighs two kilos um, or 4.4 pounds. So it's definitely quite a hefty weight. As we said here, inside is gonna have the actual router, power adapter, the quick start guide, and the RJ45 cable on your warranty as well. So it just goes through here, the basic layout as we can see later. And you can see here where the ports are and everything. Again, this is going to be their top of the range one, so it's not gonna be cheap. Um, when it as he, uh, comes out and you know, for sale and everything. I know people have started to buy them, but this is going to be definitely future proof for many, many years uh, if you choose to buy this. So let's now get into the box. So we're now moving on to opening the box. So again, you can see here the Republic of Gamers and also the uh, their logo underneath. Um, and then you've got those for those who dare. Um, so it's good then you can see the packaging because this is the top of the range kind of router. Um, you do expect the packaging to be good, but Asus always on their ones uh, always uh, is very good to be honest. So it's got a magnet on there, so it's magnetized on, on the side here to open. And the presentation of the actual uh, opening and everything else again is um, second to none. So you can see here it's well packaged and everything else. And as you open it, you can see that it opens up like this so you can get to the actual router. So we can see here the actual router itself. So you can see now it's got an actual clear, actual uh, top to it here. So you can see inside, so that's really cool. And then the air vent mesh here, and then you've got the actual now the LEDs here uh, that are much more, instead of before, are now actually cut out into the actual uh, design of the top of the case. I like the nice clear, that's really cool, especially using this as a centerpiece and not hiding it away. Um, so it's always good. And then you've got the clear buttons here as well. So if we just uh, take this out, as he said, it's two kilos, so it is far from uh, uh, light. Um, so we'll just put that to one side. And then you can have a look to see underneath here again, as you can see here, the packaging, they've, they've hit, uh, put everything here. So you've got your power adapter. So we'll just take all of that out so we can have a look. And there's a lot of it. And you've got the... So we just put those on there. And again, this is, is this the UK one? It's going to have a UK plug. Again, it's a nicer packaging. So you can see here everything's packaged together. So you've got the three pin plug. And of course, if you're in Europe or in America, then you're going to have the uh, your irrelevant plug for your one. And as we said already, the, uh, the power inputs and outputs. You've got, at least the brick here is actually seems a bit smaller. Uh, so that's good to see and everything else. So you can see here the actual um, standards and everything else and the size of it compared to the palm of my hand. So you can see that's quite small. And again, it's got a good length cable as well. So if, um, like me, the power uh, actual outlet is uh, normally far away from the router, you've got a bit of cable there to actually uh, stretch it towards it. And again, you've got the extension of this as well. So to add on, so that's good to see. Next we've got here again is uh, the uh, European uh, plug as well. So it's good to see it caters for both in the box and everything else. And then we have the uh, Ethernet cable. So it's really interesting to see. Now we've upgraded all to the uh, 2.5 and we've got 10 gigabit uh, Ethernet ports. So normally it's come standard with five uh, Cat5 uh, E cables. So at least six, Cat6 I would expect. And as you can see here, I don't know if you can see on the camera, 
it does clearly say it now comes with a data cable cat 6 um, so that's really good to see and again it's got nice metal uh, ends to it so it's a uh, terminated well and it's really strong so that's good to see that they've included that now as cat 6 so it's about uh I should have actually done that on the AXE uh, 16000 as well because that's got 10 gigabit ports as well. But that's good to see. And then again, you've got all of your information here. You've got your safety notices, your warranty that you need to fill out. And then also the quick uh, setup guide. So again, it's always good. Um, I know people most time just want to plug it in and everything else. But having a quick setup guide is always quite handy uh, if you're not too sure. And then it gives you the information as well. As you can see here around the layout and everything so that's good to see that include that now let's have a quick look on to the uh, router itself so now looking at the device itself we can say that this is definitely a <laughs> quite a heavy uh, router uh, or if a uh, router if you're in the UK um, you can I do again I do like the look of this actually clear um, if I just uh, bring this up a bit closer for you you can have a look to see I do like the design of this, how they've made it clear now. So I have this on in my living room, so it is uh, um, not hidden away. So it's actually pretty cool to have this. Before you had the LEDs that lit up, so it was good on the other Asus router, uh, Republic of Gamers. And now this looks like even more meaner <laughs> than, than before. I don't think it's a centerpiece really when people come in and see a, a router this big. <laughs> Same as the, even with the GTA X 11,000 going back, um, quite a few years now of that router that's still a massive router and then the AXE 16000 and the the other ones that are Republic of Gamers always stand out but this is definitely um, one up now it's they've really thought of the design and you can see here on the actual uh, antennas as well if I bend them out you can see that the design of them is much stronger now compared to the previous models so they've obviously learned that sometimes they can come loose over time I know normally not to you don't really adjust it that often, but it's good to see that they, they expect people now to actually use this as a kind of a centerpiece. You have all your buttons here. So again, sorry, uh, LEDs to light up to for the relevance. So you can see the power, uh, which bands you've got on your 10 gig LAN and internet is working. So you can see that straight away. Again, you can switch these off later if you've got this in your bedroom. Um, then you have the two uh, actual buttons here so you have one to switch off the leds and the other one here they've still got the wps button but as again advise actually to switch that off because uh, that's not uh it shouldn't really be a bit of a security uh, uh issue with uh, having that switched on but again as you can see it is plastic but it is a solid and the antennas now at least have have been uh, improved and as you can see here they're much more chunky and more much more stronger uh, now built and everything else so I'll just be super careful when I'm turning this thing over um, so I don't drop it. So you can see here as well on this side, you've got ventilation all underneath and now the feet as well are actually much higher up. It's got the rubber base here, so it gives you much more room for ventilation. So before it was just rubber feet here. Um, now they've actually made it much more higher up. So that's good to see. Uh, just be wary if you do are putting this in a shelf unit then uh, the actual height of this uh, has probably risen from previous models. Um, again, yep, yeah, all the vent, these are all ventilation underneath here. These are all open. And if we just quickly go now to the actual port, so you can see here, if I can uh, hold this up as uh, much as I can. So you can see here, um, you've got your power in, you've got your power switch, your USB 2.0 and USB 3.0 port. And most importantly, you've got your ports here as well. So as you can see here, you've got your reset. You've got your four uh, ports there. So they're all uh, 2.5. And you've got your 10 gigabit uh, LAN port. Then you have your one gigabit LAN port as number five. And then you've got your 10 gigabit um, on there for your WAN or LAN port as well. So you can swap them around. And you can see the aggregation as well. So you can join two ports together. So you can see that's actually cleared there as well. So that's basically a quick unboxing of this uh, beast of a, a new router and it certainly is heavy um, but the design of it I really do like and as again as I said this is actually really much more seems more sturdy than previous models their designs so it is definitely heavy <laughs> um, just picking it up and everything else but the antennas are 
much bigger and longer as well um, so I'll put some measurements up as well just to give you an idea if you want to upgrade this and you've got this between shelving units it's something to consider okay thanks for watching and again I'll be doing the next video on actually doing some speed tests because as you've seen in my previous video I've just got a Wi-Fi 7 uh, chipset to go into my PC um, so I'll do some speed tests and then we'll have a look at the user interface as usual and then do some, uh, as we said, some more speed tests as well from different distances. Okay, so thanks for watching and have a great day.